Turkey has officially entered the global hypersonic missile race. At a defense expo in Istanbul, Turkish defense giant Roketsan unveiled the Tayfun Block 4, a hypersonic missile that reportedly flies faster than Mach 5 and can strike targets up to 800 kilometers away. With that, Turkey becomes the first NATO member outside the US to reveal an operational hypersonic weapon. So, what does this mean for Turkey's military ambitions? In today's video, we break down everything we know about the Tayfun Block 4, from its cutting-edge design to the geopolitical signals it's sending across the region. Let's dive in. The Tayfun Block 4 was first shown to the public during the International Defense Industry Fair in Istanbul on July 23, 2025. Roketsan, the state-affiliated defense firm behind the missile, displayed a full-scale model and announced plans for deployment by the end of the year. The missile will initially serve only within Turkey's armed forces, with no export plans currently in place. It's worth noting that this unveiling comes at a time when Turkey is expanding its domestic arms industry significantly. In 2024, defense exports reached $7.1 billion, setting a new national record. According to the Minister of Trade, that figure is expected to surpass $8 billion in 2025 as production increases and new export deals are finalized. Indigenous manufacturing now supplies over 70% of Turkey's military needs, with missile production expanding steadily in recent years. Tayfun Block 4 is part of this expansion and is currently the most advanced missile Turkey has developed for long-range precision strikes. So, what exactly has Roketsan built? Let's take a look at the design and key specs. The Tayfun Block 4 builds on the earlier Tayfun short-range ballistic missile, first tested in 2022, but Block 4 is a much larger and heavier system. It measures approximately 10 meters in length and weighs around 7,200 kilograms. Images and reports from IDEF 2025 show the missile launched from a mobile 8x8 Volat transporter erector launcher. Roketsan has not disclosed exact warhead specifications, but estimates place its payload between 500 and 750 kilograms. The missile is powered by a solid composite propellant and follows a high-altitude ballistic trajectory. For guidance, Tayfun Block 4 reportedly uses a combination of inertial navigation and satellite updates with anti-jamming features, although this has not been officially confirmed. Defense analysts estimate its accuracy to be within 5 to 10 meters of the intended target. Rocketson claims the Tayfun Block 4 reaches speeds exceeding Mach 5, officially placing it in the hypersonic category. While the missile does not appear to use a glide vehicle or scramjet engine, analysts suggest it may include limited terminal maneuverability to avoid interception, though Roketsan has not disclosed specific details about its guidance or flight profile. In any case, hypersonic speed significantly reduces the reaction time available to enemy air defenses, increasing the likelihood of successful strike delivery. According to Turkish defense officials, the Tayfun Block 4 is designed to target critical infrastructure such as air defense systems, command centers, and military airfields. Its combination of speed, precision, and mobility allows it to operate effectively in contested environments. With this missile, Turkey joins an elite group of countries, including the US, Russia, and China, that have publicly revealed indigenous hypersonic weapons. France and the United Kingdom are developing similar capabilities, but have not yet presented operational systems. Analysts from the Atlantic Council and the German Marshall Fund note that Tayfun Block 4 strengthens Turkey's regional strike capabilities, particularly in the Eastern Mediterranean and Black Sea regions. The missile's range places several strategic locations within reach including parts of Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. Some experts also point out the challenges ahead. Developing a hypersonic missile involves more than just speed. It requires heat-resistant materials, 
advanced guidance systems, and robust production capacity. A German aerospace analyst emphasized that repeated live tests and verified operational performance will be crucial to determine whether Taifun Block 4 is a functional weapon or a political demonstration. Roketsen has indicated that initial production will begin in late 2025, with serial production planned for 2026. Key challenges include ensuring consistent accuracy at high speeds, maintaining missile integrity during atmospheric re-entry, and scaling up manufacturing without supply chain delays. In addition, any future export plans will be subject to the Missile Technology Control Regime, which restricts the transfer of long-range missile systems and related technologies. Future variants of Taifun Block 4 may offer extended range beyond 1,000 kilometers, enhanced maneuverability, or air-launched options. Turkey is also investing in supporting technologies like the Gukturk Satellite Program for Navigation and the Koral Electronic Warfare System, both of which could enhance the missile's effectiveness and survivability in complex combat environments. The development of Taifun Block 4 reflects Turkey's broader push for self-sufficiency in defense. As we mentioned earlier, Ankara has developed a range of domestic platforms in recent years, including drones, air defense systems, naval vessels, and tactical missiles. The addition of a hypersonic missile demonstrates Turkey's ambition to join the global top tier of defense producers. Whether Taifun Block 4 will shift regional military balances depends on its reliability, scalability, and integration into Turkey's overall strategy. As of now, it serves both as a technical milestone and a strategic signal. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analysis.